Example three, hyperbolas. After this one with the other two videos, I think you're going to be pretty much good to go on all the types of things that's that you have to do. So here's one where you are given a hyperbola that opens up and down, and you have to basically find these three things. And to do that, you can do it without drawing the picture. Let me show you. Center is HK. This is of the form Y minus K, <laughs> get that backwards almost, over A squared equals X minus H, that's equals right there, or minus, over B squared equals 1. And uh, when you do this, H will be 2, K will be negative 4. So there's my center right there. For the focus, and what I like to do is um, you can feel free to just list all the variables here. And let's just do this. Uh, class just screaming out there. What would A be? 6. B? Um, H? 2. And K? Negative 4. And so C then... If we do Pythagorean theorem, that would just be 6 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. That's 36 plus 25 equals C squared. Or what is that, 61? That's yeah, pretty gross. So C would equal the square root of 61. And 61 is prime and under a radical symbol, so that's pretty much going to be a C. So this is radical 61. So you do have to do that. Um, for the foci, it's H. So we, if you list them like this and you have your little box of important info, you can pretty much just come over here and fill this in. So the foci H would be 2, comma, K plus or minus C. So that's negative 4 plus or minus radical 61. And that is the equations of the foci. And the vertices would be 2, comma, uh, negative 4 plus or minus 6. Now that one we can break down into something a little bit nicer. This would split into 2 comma 2 and 2 comma negative 10. And that would be the two vertices. So graphing it now actually becomes a lot more simple um, because if you just... Um, plop all this stuff on there. I could just do it real quick here. So the center would be 2, negative 4. So that red dot's my center. Switch colors. Now I'm going to put the vertices on there. So it's 2, 2. Again, we're just sketching a graph. And 2, negative 10. So that's going to be down 6. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right there those are my vertices v and remember that's where um that's where the hyperbola is going to hit that right there but just just so that you can see where this triangle comes from and the c and all that stuff uh <clears throat> I'll do this in green that distance there will be what letter people that's good job that's a going this way B was 5, so we go over 5 units in each direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. And if we put um, dots like we did yesterday and all these little areas like this, that way if you need to put asymptotes on there, you, you can. Um, I'll just show you that real fast. You can just kind of sketch those asymptotes on there like so. And it also helps to see this last remaining piece of this triangle right here, which would come out. And um, that distance, A, is, of course, 6. That's, of course, 6. And this, this thing here is 5, which makes this hypotenuse right there equal to the square root of 61. So that's where that comes from. And then finally, your your graph infinitely close to this, hitting, <laughs> let's do that again. That was not awesome. And we'll come in here and hit this right here, back up, 
And of course, hitting that and back down infinitely close. The foci, which I didn't graph, would uh, you would have to kind of figure out what exactly radical 61 is, and you can do that. But it would just be up here somewhere and down here somewhere, and that's it. Um, you can do the whole thing with no picture if you have to. But again, the importance of drawing a picture um, will connect your brain and your and the picture to this algebra. See you later.